Hey everyone, so this one I'm not going to be in this video because I am like this close um, but just to show you what's inside my vanity case because I am on holiday for like two months over in Hong Kong and I just wanted to share with you what I take with me because this is such a beautiful case and I love to take a lot of my nice makeup in here and this I take with me everywhere I go and I use this at home as well as take this on travel with me and it's got this really beautiful detailing it's all very like thick luggage material I think this was from the 19s collection like the spring summer collection when the lady d lights first came out and I have shown what was inside before but now that I'm traveling it's all a bit different so inside with the zipper comes open like this and I do keep both my makeup and skincare in here and the organizer that I have is this little nice pink one it's from Samorga I know so many people use Samorga but they do have really good organizers in here and it's very very easy to use and they have so many different designs for different versions of different bags and I like to use it for this makeup case because makeup can get really messy and it can easily become really disorganized. So here I have my skincare. I keep my face cream up here because it's too big to fit anywhere else. And this one is the Laneige Waterbank Blue Hyaluronic Acid one. And I think this one is for dry skin. But I would say that this isn't really good for the super, super dry skin, especially in the UK where it can get very dry. I would recommend the Perfect and Renew version because that one's a lot more creamier. But this one is a lightweight gel and it's like that cream gel texture. So if you have dry skin, this would be okay for like the summertime. It's very light and especially when I'm in Hong Kong, this is already enough for me. But if I went back to the UK, I'm going to switch this out for my Perfect Renew one. But it is so cute. Really like the packaging. Then I have all of my skincare like right at the bottom. And I have my water bank moisture essence. This one is a water-based serum. I think the moisture one is for dry skin and then there's a hydro one for more oily skin types. But I would say that this is more similar to the Perfect Renew one. I think the newer version of the water bank line where it's more of that similar packaging to my face cream. It's a bit more like the hydro essence, I would say. Whereas this one is a lot more richer. And then I have my two toner and emulsion. These are like miniature sizes. And this is the newer blue hyaluronic acid version. And these are really cute. I love the theme of this packaging. Again, I would say if you have super dry skin, especially in European countries where it's a lot less humid than in Asia, this is, it's a bit like, it's okay does the job but it's more for summertime use. I have my newer items here. I have two more items from Laneige and I have the retinol. This one is the Perfect Renew Retinol and I've been using this on my forehead, especially on my smile lines and around my eyes. I haven't seen like effects because one day is already too early to judge that but I would say that it's more of that creamy texture but this one is very very lightweight but it's very creamy on that side of things so so far it hasn't irritated my skin because usually with retinol it can easily sting a lot of people's faces but still I would recommend that you ease your way into using retinol because it can have some side effects but the effects of retinol is really good and then I have my sunscreen. This one is the Radiancy. This one smells like oranges and it smells really refreshing. I love it. It's very lightweight, more on the creamy side, but it's very nice feeling when I use this. And then alongside that bottom segment, I also have my perfume. I have this miniature version and this one is the Misty Dior. It's a very cute bottle and it's just enough for me to take on holiday with me. And you can actually refill this with more of that perfume. That's all of my skincare in here. And then we can go into makeup. So here on this side, I have a lot of my eye palette. And here I have the M Cosmetics palette. This one is the color Rodan and it's from the Masterpiece collection. And it's just a nice basic neutrals palette and then I have another M Cosmetics palette and this one is in the color Magic Hour. This is replicating Golden Hour, all of the colors in there so it's more of that peachy golden tone and then I have a highlighter, this one is the Sunscape highlighter and it's in the color Clarity. It's more of this 
champagne gold and I have so much in here it's such a big pan it's gonna last me for such a long time then I have two of their little stick blushes and contours this one I did buy but then this one I actually won in a giveaway which was really nice and I was really happy when I did win this this one is so soft in terra and it's a really nice soft applicator here so really soft and if you apply it on here it just melts and really blends so easily. So it's really good for contour. This one is so soft in bitten, so it's more of that blush color, but it's a very rich, deeper color. I think lots of people use this for like blush contours, and it, this is the color in bitten. I apply it here. So both of these sticks, they're more contoury shades for me. You can get lighter shades like the so soft baby i think that one's more of a brighter more girly pinch cheek look but this one is more of that contour and then on the other side i have some more blushes because i love a good blush and those were more contour versions and now these are the heaven's glow blushes these are more like blush lighters i have two of them both of these are really pretty and this one is the heaven's glow in magic hour and i have this to match with my eyeshadow palette so it's really really nice to use and then I have this blush which is probably seen on my YouTube channel way too much and it's their heirloom collection which is I think it's like their limited edition so if you can still get your hands on this I would recommend doing so because it's not going to be here forever it's so highlightery of a blush and it's just really really nice pinch cheek look love it love it love it love it this one is my favorite and then here we have my base makeup i have my favorite bb cushion this one is the neo cushion and it's in the matte version you can get a glowy version is in the pink version and the color that i have is in 23n and then here I have my Laneige Skin Veil Base and this one is in the color Pure Violet. I mix this in with my serums, need a little tiny tiny bit. And then I take my Waterbank Serum and I apply kind of like more one to one ratio. This is the violet and this is the serum. And if you mix these two up, it kind of turns into a weird paste, but then it starts to mix. And then you get this like nice brightening effect. As a base, this is really lightweight and it feels so smooth. It's kind of giving that extra glow. Sometimes I don't even need to apply BB cushion because this just evens out my complexion really nicely. Then I have these little pouches at the top. This does come with the Samorga case. So I have a taller one and then a shorter one. So the taller one, I keep most of my eye makeup. So here I have the Dior Show Mascara, Etude House Proof 10. And then I have a liquid eyeliner from Heron Make. And then another thing that I have here is my eyebrow pencil. This one is the Maybelline Express Brow. Very inexpensive. It's got a twist mechanism and it also comes with a spoolie on the other end which is really easy to use. Favourite part of my eye makeup and I bought my two favourites. These are from Black Rouge. So I have more of this white colour and then there's this more peachy pink colour. Really pretty. So it's not as white looking as the first one. And then in the other pouch, I have my Dior lip colors. So the first one I have is this one. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer, one of my favorite lip colors. This one is good because it really plumps your lips without that chilly feel. And it's giving more of that minty feel. The color that I got is in 010, and it's just this like peachy pink, it's got these shimmers in there, it's very, very pretty. And then the other thing I, I have is the Dior Lip Glow. This one is a raspberry color. And I love the packaging of this one too. It's very girly, millennial pink. And then it's more of that 
bright raspberry pink that I always wear. And then I have a miniature of the Dior Lip Maximizer and this is like the most popular color 001. Much more portable than the larger size so it's really really cute. Finally at the back I have some more lip colors and this will mark the end. And again with all my lip colors I'm really not that experimental. You'll see that all of these shades are pretty similar. So I'll go with my favorite lip color of all this one is the Etude House Fixing Tin. I use this all the time because it's mask proof and it just works. And the color that I got is in Smoky Cherry and it's just really bright pink. Perfect for summer. It's more of that summery look. And then I have this one from Romand. I love the packaging for this because it's more of that ice cube looking thing. And if you apply it on, the color that I got it in is 05. So it's a very similar color, but the difference with this one is that it's more of that dewy look. And then I have more recently the Chanel Lip Velvet, and this color is in Reminisce. Very nice doe for applicator, and if you apply it on, it's a very similar shade. I would say that this is a little bit more red though. Maybe I should swatch my other lip colors. This one is the Dior Lip Glow. So it's very sheer and I guess this one is the most different because it's more peachy but this is the lip maximizer really nice and then my mini lip maximizer which is in the pink shade putting out of space just a very very sheer pink so it's over here and finding lip colors that really make you feel confident especially with this one this is my true tried and true favorite. I've used this for like such a long time and I love it so much. It's a magical experience. The last thing I have is not very interesting. This is a tweezer from Tweezerman. You always gotta have these in handy. That is everything inside. It's a bit manky in there. Please forgive me. But the good thing about having an organizer is that you, you can just take this out and then you can just wash it. Oh, there's something in hiding here. This is actually a setting spray and this one's from NYX. It's really affordable and I got the miniature version of it. There is a dewy and there's a matte version and it just works wonders on setting your makeup for a really affordable price. But yeah that is everything inside here. This is a really handy case and it fits so much makeup in here and I'm glad that I can fit all of my makeup and my skincare in there so it's really handy to use and it's such a beautiful pink I just fell in love with it when I saw it and I use this so much and if you want to see more beauty content then click over here and I will see you there bye